speak what you seek until you see what you say. Alright y'all, so welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today is February the 1st. Um, it's a Tuesday. It's currently 11.19 a.m. Um, I am sitting parked in a random parking lot because, um, just a quick little backstory. So I had a shift from 8 a.m. into 12 p.m. Um, through this app called Shift Smart, you go to different Circle K's or whatever and pick up shifts. Um, I'll talk more about it though in my life update video, but um, that's not like my current full time job, that's like something I'm doing, it's kind of like a side hustle, but anyway. So I got there, couldn't check in on the app because the manager wasn't there, yada yada yada. Then couldn't check in, couldn't check in on the app until like 8 47 a.m. Yada yada yada. Long story short, you have to check in on the app like that's clocking in, clocking in and clocking out and you have to write down your um your time on their their paper so like write your name write what you're coming to do and then write your time but um i couldn't do it on the app so i needed to kill some time because i was done with my work she gave me my checkout code but to check out and check in you have to be within a mile of the store so I just decided to come, um, I got some time to kill. I got 40 minutes to kill. So I was like, well, it's on my agenda anyway to make this video today. So let me just go somewhere nearby, make my video by the time I'm done. Hopefully it's 12 p.m. I can go back and clock out and then continue with my day. But anyway, I'm sorry, that was a little rant, long winded. But anyway, so this video is gonna be pretty short. So it is a quote that um, I've heard multiple times from the great Lynn Richardson. If you haven't heard of her, look her up, Lynn Richardson. She is one of the personas that I follow. I follow her teachings or whatever. And basically the quote is, speak what you seek until you see what you say. And I think that's so powerful because it's like, I feel like every time I make a video, I'm either talking about becoming your, the best version of yourself, manifesting, like the law of attraction, putting things out to the universe so you can get it to come back to you, all that type of stuff. And that, that kind of goes along with it because it's like, okay, speak it, you know, hear it. Like for me, that's actually like speaking it and writing it, but continue to like speak it put it out there, put it in the universe so that it can come back to you so that you can attract it. Because why like, you know, just think about it or wonder what could be when you can act upon it and, you know, put it into the universe and attract it. Like law of attraction is very real um, if y'all haven't heard of it. And then also you have to remember the power, well not remember if you never heard of it or if you never been, a, been um, if you never heard the saying power of tongue like also look it up like that's it's so real like what you say like for instance um when you talk when you're speaking up uh, about yourself I, I can't talk today when you're speaking about yourself or whatever you want to be careful with the words you choose like because that's that speaks to your subconscious mind like i feel like it all boils down to your subconscious mind like we have a conscious mind and a subconscious mind i don't know if i gave the analogy on my channel yet but I like to give the analogy that like, if you walk across the street and you see a car coming, your conscious mind is gonna tell you, girl, you're gonna get hit. Like, <laughs> don't you see this car coming? But your subconscious mind, it's gonna, it's gonna listen to what it tells you. So like, it's gonna believe whatever you, you repeatedly tell it. So if you believe and tell your subconscious mind, whether it's out loud or in your head, I'm not gonna get hit. I'm not gonna get hit as that car coming. Your subconscious mind is going to believe that you're not gonna get hit. I'm not saying you're not gonna get hit, you know. I mean, they may swerve, you know, or whatever. But that's that's how your subconscious mind works. It believes what you tell it repeatedly, though. I feel like I need to emphasize that. Like, it takes saying it repeatedly and sometimes saying it out loud to really penetrate your subconscious mind. Your conscious mind obviously is gonna do what it needs to do to protect you and just think of the obvious. Like it's gonna think on its feet, whereas the subconscious, hell, you can mold it, you can train it to like believe what you want it to believe. Um, back to power of tongue though, like it's so it's so powerful. So like 
let's say you just going through your daily um uh, routine or whatever and like you you make a mistake and you like knock something over you be like damn i'm so dumb like damn i'm so stupid like damn i'm so clumsy like we have to realize when we when we say stuff like that especially like repeatedly on a regular basis especially out loud like we're talking to our subconscious mind our subconscious mind is going to start believe that and i know it sounds kind of ridiculous and it sounds kind of minute like i don't believe i'm dumb i don't believe i'm stupid just because i said it because i made a mistake yada 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 but self-talk is like is is more powerful like the power of the tongue is more powerful than you think it is like when you when you continuously say something you start to believe it and it's like you you have to you have to say what you want to believe so if you want to believe that you are an intelligent a clever a witty whatever it may be like you have to you have to train your mind to believe that because you're you can train your mind to believe anything like trust me like try it dead ass so you have to be careful with what you say i have an example i want i can think of but i don't want to tell like i don't want to give that specific example because it's a little bit too personal even if i don't say a name but um let me try to think of a, another example that isn't so i don't know all right so i think i came up with one so i'm going to use the example of illness all right so let's say you you started carrying carrying some symptoms of a certain type of illness and you got two options you can either um surrender to the thoughts of that of that you have that illness or you can conquer those thoughts and make your mind believe that you don't have those that you don't have that illness because as crazy as it sounds like y'all it works like our our brains and our nerves and like all the messages and shit is is connected like when you think about it well you can even you can even look it up most illnesses stem from stress so where does stress come from first of all you house stress in your mind because you're thinking about certain different things and you're you're being basically um damn near defeated by something that got your mind that has compromised your mind and your thought and that has carried down through your body in this form of illness if you do not believe me please look it up like this is legit um i actually i learned that from a documentary i watched on netflix called heal it was like different doctors talking about different things and talking about how the body has the power to heal itself but we're not talking about that right now we're talking about um basically kind of controlling and training your mind so if you start taking on taking on those symptoms and you be like damn i got this this illness damn i got this disease damn i got this damn i got that and you just automatically start believing it like your body is going to eventually develop either that illness or something else whereas opposed to if you start you know noticing those symptoms and you be like child i'm good like i'm I, I got it like ain't that wrong with me like i i take i take care of myself i eat what i need to eat you know but that's important though to mention because it's like you can't just be out here like also not taking care of yourself and thinking that your mind just gonna do it all like no you have to take care of yourself and believe so when you take care of yourself and you believe so let's say you're in a situation where you when you get any symptoms but you're like i ain't worried that's that ain't nothing like psh, i eat clean I, i'm active you know and that's just the bare minimum like I, I ain't say eat healthy i ain't say work out like the bare minimum like you know you do what you need to do to take care of yourself and you you overcome those thoughts of oh my god some could be wrong with me or something wrong with me and then it works like you're good because you have controlled your mind you have trained your mind to not fall victim to those those like i don't even want to just say negative it's like detrimental thoughts because your thoughts literally literally can lead to illness literally and if you don't believe me look that shit up if you if you don't believe me watch the documentary called heal you know i'm not saying that i believe everything i see every documentary i watch yada 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 
but and hell don't take my word for it like you know do your own research if you're interested if not you know just watch this video and then keep going on about your life don't you ain't got to think that of it but i don't know i just kind of want to talk about that because it's like your thoughts and your tone is so powerful and what i mean by tone is like what you say like it's so powerful we have to start being intentional with our thoughts and our tone because literally what you what you like put into the universe you can allow it to come back to you if you just be intentional with choosing your words and your thoughts so that's all i got i'm gonna catch y'all in the next one